hello guys this is pawan from ambidotronics so today in this video tutorial i'll show you how we can make any uh, local ip publicly accessible whether you are running any web server in uh, raspberry pi or any uh, anything like uh, posting data from Arduino to any uh, local server and uh, you want that server to make publicly accessible or um, whether you are you want to uh, host any your uh, website Word, wordpress uh, website and uh, you want to make it uh, like publicly accessible so how you can achieve that thing so there are a couple of ways like uh, doing uh, with uh, port forwarding and all with a router uh, so we can do uh, we can achieve that thing with that but uh, uh, we can do uh, with other uh, uh, simple method also so that uh, normal method simple method uh, what uh, I, here i'll show you and explain you basically in my last video uh, also i had uh, shown you how we can make any local ip publicly publicly accessible with uh, ngrook and now we will use uh, one more uh, same uh, type of application that is page kite so basically in ngrook you will uh, you generally get uh, like uh, different uh, different uh, url uh, whenever you um, run the server so here you will have one unique um, uh, specified uh, url with you so okay so we will see how we can achieve that thing so okay so first we'll just go to the, your favorite browser and here i uh, just uh, uh, like type download uh, page kite okay so here we go and uh, now we will just click on this and uh, here uh, this will be our page, page kite uh, page here simply you can download uh, page called page kite dot pi for windows and uh, for uh, linux and mac also you can go with that like linux uh, there is these commands and all you can go with uh, like that uh, sim uh, simply uh, from for mac also is there uh, you can also click on this home page and here in this home page you can see fast reliable secure make your local local host part of the web so uh, windows flight uh, plan is you you should have python installed with it because this is a python file only uh, page guide dot pi as you can see here and uh, you have to run the program so now i'm just uh, downloading this thing so we'll just uh, click on it and here we go and uh, it's saying like uh, do uh, it may be harmful but we know the this is the trust for this website so we'll keep click on key and this is our page guide dot pi now in the download section now what will we do we will just uh, 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 double click on it and uh, from here itself uh, here yeah, here you can see now uh, this uh, this opens in our visual studio code editor itself so from here now what i will do i'll just run this uh, page page dot pi but before that what will we do we will have to uh, do certain things and uh, uh, to do that thing we, what what we need to do we need to set up uh, we need to sign up in pagekite uh, account so i'll just uh, do the same thing uh, if you have already account you just click on my account and uh, you just uh, log in with that so uh, how to sign up just click on that sign up button uh, icon and here you just give your uh, email address so this is our uh, uh, we have to put our email id and here you can give uh, your uh, unique uh, uh, page kite name so i am giving ambidotronics okay so that is fine now i will just click on this and uh, we'll hit sign up so uh, here uh, we got the message like congratulations uh, this is the thing now uh, they had sent um, they have sent us uh, an email and uh, there we will uh, get the details okay so uh, this way you will get the email like page guide act, uh, account activation so help at the rate page guide.net from that so uh, this is uh, our uh, uh, we can paste it on in our browser this thing uh, we have to click this uh, so uh, this is our account details and uh, this is account type uh, and all and password everything is there so now what will we do we will just um, in order to activate we have to click on this and here we go so now uh, this this is our page guide 
now uh, we have already uh, like uh, logged in now just to uh, by clicking on that and if we'll just uh, log out that and uh, then we have to log in again then we have to simply go in our mail id and uh, uh, copy our email id from here and here we will just paste it and uh, password and login so here you go uh, so this is the thing so here you can see subscription uh, account tag individual subscription 31 days left so uh, this is a one month trial you get so but uh, you can uh, use like with that with a different different uh, id you can uh, just create uh, this 30 day trial you can extend so this is very useful now what will we do we will just uh, go to our like uh, uh, we will just run that uh, uh, page guide first uh, and uh, we will see how we can um, uh, uh, execute this thing so okay so uh, now here in the vs code itself we will just go to our terminal so from uh, vs code itself we can uh, run because we have already uh, 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 this thing in installed like uh, python and all everything and uh, even minjw uh, in my last video uh, we have installed msys so now uh, if i'll just go to like cd and uh, then we will go to c drive first okay now we are in c and we will uh, uh, we'll have to go to download so for that we need to go to um, users uh, okay and uh, download and here uh, we have the python so we will just run python uh, simply page guide uh, so here we can run from here python uh, uh, because uh, in our download section uh, this page guide file is there so i will hit enter okay uh, before we'll move on uh, i'll just uh, discard this thing first let's uh, uh, con by control c because uh, we can directly run our uh, uh, server itself uh, before that we can uh, run our uh, server first and then uh, we can uh, directly run our page guide uh, uh, the, the the port which we want to forward so i'll just open the xam control panel and here in xam control panel We'll run the Jam server. So we'll uh, we'll uh, start Apache. We'll start MySQL. So these things are now started. Mm, okay, we are getting error. So we have to stop, and uh, we will uh, start with the administration privilege. Then uh, we will uh, able to access this thing. So now we are running as an administrator. So we'll start Apache and uh, we'll start now MySQL as well. So uh, both are running now. Uh, so this is the thing now. Here you can see um, and we are getting the stop stop message. It means uh, both are running now. Um, uh, running running here uh, you can see so now if i'll just uh, simply go to my browser and and here if i'll just go to xam uh, xam dashboard uh, like uh, local host dashboard so here you can see uh, we have this uh, xam apache and this uh, this thing we are getting and uh, even if you just i'll just click on php my admin and here my table name and all will will get so let's open it so here i am just uh, clicking my table so here you can see so this is the thing this table so uh, um, I, I i want uh, this thing to make it uh, like publicly accessible because right now i'm in local host and uh, sa same way we will uh, we'll get this thing in uh, through page guide so what will we do we will just simply uh, go to here 
and we will run uh, Python uh, Python page guide uh, uh, that uh, by default the server is running in port 80 so port 80 and then embedotronics dot page guide dot dot me so this this was my uh, page guide so I'm okay we just uh, mistakenly uh, typed now here uh, that backslash mistakenly uh, typed so now if i'll just enter now here uh, it is asking like uh, you agree to play and nice and like a uh, few quick, quick questions it will ask so uh, use the page guide.net service uh, so here click right here y and hit enter uh, you know what is your email address so it will ask email address so initially it will ask after that it won't ask so we will just provide our email address okay so now it is asking password so we have to give password So now uh, we had given the password. Now press and enter to continue. It is saying like so we'll enter. Now save settings for uh, it is asking to save uh, this page guide dot configuration file so that it will not ask again and again. So we'll give uh, yeah why and we'll hit enter. Now our page guide is running. So here you can see uh, uh, kites are uh, uh, that, that are flying and all is well. So this message we are getting so uh, here, here you can see this message basically uh, this one uh, what we are getting so this this URL basically we need to copy so we had copied this thing now we will just uh, give this URL here and uh, we'll just enter here and here it will just uh, hit enter now here you can see again uh, we got the dashboard here you can see this is our uh, XAMPP uh, dashboard so we are getting uh, that uh, the thing so uh, this is the URL we are getting uh, basically uh, from our uh, local host uh, this is our local host uh, and uh, and if uh, we will just uh, like uh, try to uh, access uh, uh, this I, I mean just uh, we can um, uh, this is running on port 80 so we can we had forwarded this port 80 to uh, this this one so that's why we are getting this one and uh, this thing uh, will work in a different uh, network call as well so it, it it means like it is publicly accessible now so uh, whether you want to share this url or any anything what you had just uh, developed uh, for a poc or any purpose you can share uh, with uh, your friends or colleague to debug things so this is the way uh, we can achieve this thing uh, we had gone through uh, and group uh, and here we are we, are, we had gone through now uh, using um, this uh, page guide uh, which is basically giving you a unique uh, 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 url so okay uh, if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below thank you guys thank you very much